yo what's going on today i'm gonna be showing you how to arrange your melodies or beats just in general but yeah i'm gonna show you how to arrange it uh i wrote down some stuff just so i could like you know what i'm saying keep myself in track not get you know real quick though i just want to say i appreciate the support we've been growing crazy y'all really on timing with the subscriptions um i'm really gonna say that like every video because it's like y'all go crazy like between each gap of videos and i'm i know i'm not really active with the videos and all that but y'all gonna understand like i'm trying to learn the piano as much as possible i'm trying to learn the, the guitar as much as possible i'm trying to learn engineering mixing i'm trying to do all that just so i can improve my craft and expand because i don't really want to be in the same spot for like a couple years you know but anyway i just want to say i appreciate y'all if you haven't make sure you leave a like on this video comment some new video ideas oh i also need a new tag by the way so comment some ideas for the tag make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe follow me on ig let's get to it all right so for my first tip we're gonna really just break it up into sections because for me it's intro hook verse and bridge that's really it in my opinion some people like to add a whole bunch of other shit. i just you know i keep it simple so for my intros it really depends how long you want your intro like if i'm making a a little dirk type beat for example i don't really want my intro too long i really been doing a lot of just piano and then transition into the bass guitar but sometimes i'll just have it as eight bars so really max you want your intros is 16 16 bars you know but you know you could go with eight if you really want it's really all just preference i'm gonna let you hear the beat up to the bridge just so y'all can understand what i'm trying to explain dave you made this beat So for my intros, it really depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes like I'll have it go like this where like no bass and then I'll have a transition you make this beat? Like with the bass. That's just like what I like to do. For my intros, I like to break up my melodies so that it feels more like not rushed, I would say, but like, you just have to feel it. Basically, it's all about feeling it. Pause. So like if I really wanted to, I could have just had it like this. But like to me, that doesn't really sound that good. So I like to break it up. Um, but yeah, the most you want to have your intros is really up to 16 bars. That's what I would say max because 24 seconds, that's a long time. Like when you're trying to listen to something. Um, but yeah, usually you want to have it up to like eight bars. But like I said, 16, and you'll be fine. Anything past 16 bars, it's really like OD. So yeah, you wanna just be wary of that. So for the hook, how I seen it, uh, the hook, the hook is where you really want all your drums. Every single drum element, you wanna have it in your hook. Unless it's like really um, compact. Like you're trying to make like a, like an Afro beat, then I would break it down a little bit. You want your drums to really be full on your hooks. 
and then it, like for your melodies though you really want to break them up like i said like your intro because if it starts to get muddy it's not gonna sound that good because you still got to have space for the artist you know what i'm saying that's like the most important thing is having space for the artist because if you already have it full with your with your melody and the drums there's no room to flow so like for here for the beginning of my hook the first eight bars for the first eight bars i have it like this And then for the last eight. You see, like it's, it's not, it's full, but not full at the same time. Like, like I said, it's all about like hearing it and like how you feel. And then with the drums. You see, there's still room. There's a lot of room. I say if you're making beats for artists, if you're making like competition, you know, competition drill beats that you're trying to get other producers to listen to, yeah, go for it. Have, have, it, have it as full as you want. Go for it. So for my verse, the verse is the complete opposite of my my hooks. My verse, it's it's the same for the melodies. Like I have it broken up and like not repetitive because I hate hearing repetitive melodies and drums. But for my drums, I really take out a lot of drums in my verse. And usually how I structure my loops, I'll have the bass come back in for the first eight bars of the verse. So like this, and I'll just have a clap, hi-hat and kick. that's just like for the pain that's like for just pain loops if i'm doing something different like like a gunna type beat i'll just have it like where it's just a hi-hat and clap like that's like a terrible example because piano what whatever but you know what i'm trying to say once once i bring in my 808 i as soon as like the bass is done take out the kick completely from the verse and i just leave i put the 808 back in because the 808 i take out but for me what i like to do i take out the first half of the hi-hats out in the second part in the verse because how i see it is three parts of the verse and really your verses you really want to have it you want to have it as 24 measures because anything past that especially when you're like anything past 24 bars in your verse it gets a little bit too long pause especially when your bpm is high so i just like to have it at 24. Um, but like I said, I like to keep out the, the hi-hats and then I'll take out like a bunch of drums. This one I didn't really take out that much because like I thought it felt the vibe. Um, but sometimes I'll take out like these backup snares. And then for the bridge, I'll put like a... Usually I do transitions. I know some people don't do transitions, but I like transitions. Um, but I'll have it just transition back into the bridge and I'll have like a big... I'll have a majority of the loop played into the bridge just to transition it back into the verse or the hook sorry and then after the hook i it's usually just a copy and paste with my hook and verse and then i just copy and paste it and then copy and paste that um but i i like to just but with like my second and third phase like i call them phases i don't know if that's right but um but like with my second and third phase i like to edit some stuff but sometimes i really won't Unless it's my last hook, with the last hook, I take out the, the hi-hat pattern completely out of the first half of the hook. I had seen that uh, from TNT, shout out TNT. He had taken out the hi-hat. and I've been doing that for like the past half a year maybe. You go to my Type B channel and you could hear it all the time. My hi-hat is taken out completely because I just like the bounce. That, that bounce will really get a lot of artists attention and really want to work on that beat you know now for your loops 
for your loops. Um, please, please stem out your loops, please, because I've been hearing from personal experience and talking to a lot of other producers. Um, if your loops, if you send out loops and they're not stemmed out, either in like a separate folder or at the end of your loop, they really won't use them because they don't like having just a repetitive eight bars. So like, let me just show you. So like, producers just don't want to hear all this for a whole loop because it's just not structured well. So please, please, please just once you're done making your loop, get every single sound and just drag it out like this. You don't even got to drag it out like this. You can put it in a separate folder just to export the stems. But as long as like if you're doing it like this, just leave a little bit of space. That way it doesn't bleed into the other into the other sound. So like it would be like this because of like reverb, especially with like the MIDI itself. The MIDI itself will just continue. But since this is a wave file, it's just going to cut off. So yeah, as long as you send out your loops, people will be using your loops and don't put your tag in your loops because I've seen people do that. Don't do that. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like button. Let's try to get for like, I never really did this before. Let's try to get like 20 likes. It's 20. Simple. Easy. Um, Make sure y'all leave a comment too. It helps the algorithm. Uh, like I said, give me some video ideas. Give me some ideas for my new tag. Make sure y'all tune in the live streams. Make sure y'all follow me on IG where y'all can hear snippets of shit. And I'm funny. And yeah, I'm out.